I've always believed all year that we're going to get better, we're going to get better. Well, now's the time. You know, we're here now, it's March, and it's time for us to win. Early in the year, we, we, we didn't play very well, we didn't look like a very good team, and uh, I kind of knew that could happen, but I also knew that with hard work and how great these kids are, that we would, we would make a push at the end, and, and we're doing that, and now we got to keep it going. All the guys are buying into what their job is, and it, it's, it's formulating to be something very special. I think we have a lot of competitive guys that have that drive, that willingness to win. They want to come up here and they want to show up and they want to, they want to execute. We've lost nine games in a single possession. Six of those nine games we had the ball and had a chance to win and we couldn't make the shot. It can just break you apart. And these kids have stuck through this all year. So it's been, a, it's been quite rewarding for me to see them come together and playing so well after all the difficult locker rooms that we've walked into. Now that we're on a roll, I think that confidence is just spewing out. And that's really good at this time. That means that momentum is carrying us into March. Players that play with confidence make plays. And I think that you know we have a lot of players playing with that confidence. The players have decided their catchphrase is, is on a mission. We say on a mission because um, beginning of the season, we had one goal, and that was to get to the, the tournament, and that's our mission. And ever since then, we're working like we're on a mission no matter what, and finally it's coming together. We're finding a really good rhythm. Guys are gelling at the perfect time. And we're learning from a lot of mistakes that, we, that we've made in the past, uh, losing close games. And then we're, I think we're getting a lot tougher. I got tough kids, I, I really do. I got, I got kids that have battled extremely hard, that uh, have had things shoved down their throat, have had disappointment after disappointment, and they shrug it off, they get up, they come to practice the next day, and, and they get better. We're taking stuff from the practice court to the game court, and we're executing. We're pulling together. Guys are encouraging each other, and they embrace each other as brothers, and they go get it done together. We're gonna ride on our defense, we're gonna hang our hats on it, and. It's, help, it's helping us win games. I think that this team that we have, we're big, we're long, we're active, and we're just gonna keep just gonna keep playing as hard as we can on the defensive end so teams wore down. Basically, I think we really understand and pay attention to detail, and camp's just telling us to go, and our offense is actually coming together really good right now. Oh, on offense, you know, ever since we got Rashad back, you know, that, that lifted our offense up um, even more. And, you know, it just helped everything out. It's more space on the floor to, you know, drive and kick and create plays for others. We're a fighting team, and, uh, and I believe that, I truly believe that, I still believe it. And it, 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 it showed uh, against Green Bay. The Green Bay game, just for, for many reasons, a senior day, we had to win it three different times. We ran a little trick play that worked. That you, the odds of it working are slim, but yet it worked. We've got, you know, people going crazy. Our fans were just phenomenal. And so that all together made that such a special game. College basketball at its finest. There was genuine emotions in the building, highs and lows. And we kept persevering. Like I always tell the guys, you just gotta keep throwing punches if you're in the fight. One of them's gonna land and it may be the big one. So we, we end up landing the big punch. Free throw. From Trey, put that oh, down! Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. And we're tied at 80! Xavier Hill Mays ties this game! I'm not gonna lie, that has been one of the greatest games I've been a part of. Double overtime, senior night, emotions at an all time high, free throws, Trey misses it perfect off to the right, I screen X's man, X runs around, catches and scores. Like, that was probably like. I remember that moment for the rest of my life. We executed out of a timeout to run it. That, that's the real story, not that it worked, that we could come out of a timeout and execute it flawlessly. And early in the year, we couldn't execute anything out of a timeout. We learned how to um, win close games now that I think. I think that we can actually pull out a game whenever it's a close game. We didn't start that first OT off very well. I mean, they had like three straight layups right off the get go, and we kind of looked at each other like, no. This isn't happening right now. Like, we're gonna win this game. We don't know how we're gonna win it, but we're gonna win. And we got that big stop, uh, came down. I think X hit that three 
I think in the corner, and everyone's looking at each other like, oh yeah, we got this. X catches it for three in the lead! Ah. For you to win a game like we went one against Green Bay, you really got to play good defense at crunch time, and and we did. We were down seven with three and a half minutes to go in the overtime, and we got five straight stops. That three, Dan kicked it out to me after I threw right into him, and he trusted me to make it, and I had to shoot it. Shot clock was winding down, so I had to make a play. Oladapo has gotten a ton of offensive rebounds this year and tried to power through six guys and lose the ball. and. He hasn't shot free throws very well, yet in that game he's worked so hard, he's learned, he's seen so much film, he made two free throws to send it to overtime. In the double overtime with the game on the line down two, he got an offensive rebound in a group of people and instead of trying to be the hero and go through six guys and tie the game, he kicked it out to X. X made the three that put us ahead. Dan is a stud, like, he's a 6'8", really a 6'8 wing that can rebound the ball like a big and then also score like a guard or a big. He's so versatile, so it's like it's hard to guard that. Trey Maddox is another example. Trey spent the year turning layups into 12-footers, trying to avoid contact, trying to step back and shoot the ball. And now he's getting to the rim, he's scoring, he's getting and ones, and he's really made our offense better because he's now a threat to rip and get to the rim. So they've done their film work, they've learned, they're getting better. I want them to believe and understand why we won that game in the last possession. You know, what, what, I mean, we, we had to win that game three times, and we did things to win them three times. We did over and over and over again, and we finally got it. Nobody gave us that game. Ladies and gentlemen, Savior. You sit on the sidelines but your heart is running across that field. His drive becomes yours, his dreams too. So when a torn ACL and concussion threaten those dreams, choose the sports medicine team that treats the whole athlete, Henry Ford Health System. We combine the most innovative technology with a personalized treatment plan so he can get back his confidence and you can get back to being his biggest fan. Henry Ford Health System, all for you. Tap into savings when you use your Oakland University Credit Union Visa Signature Credit Card. The Visa Signature Credit Card gives you more cash back, like 3% cash back on groceries, 2% cash back on gas, travel, and universities, and 1% cash back on everything else. Simply tap to pay with your OUCU Visa Signature. It's fast, easy, and convenient. Tap to pay. Get more cash back with the OUCU Visa Signature Credit Card. It begins with one step. And Ascension Care teams are here when you're ready with up-to-date, less invasive orthopedic care. Our experience reaches across a full range of services. We listen to you and provide the care that's right for you at every step, from imaging and specialists to surgery and physical therapy. So your next step can be a leap. Find an orthopedic doctor or walk-in clinic that's right for you. Visit ascension.org slash Michigan Ortho. The Grizz gang was going to rush the course whether we won or lost. Green Bay game gets special because it's my last game, you know, in the arena. So, yeah, I think this one definitely tops it all. After the game, of course, that's when you start thinking about, like, wow, being here for five years, this is, can be, you know, your last time on the blacktop playing with your teammates, with your brothers. Emotions start, you know, kicking in. You see Xavier, your brother, you've been here for five years, he starts crying. And that, that can, you know, dig deep into the heart for you. So here I go, I start tearing up a little bit like, oh, it's just very emotional. <laughs> I have so much respect for him for that. Because X and Brad, they're not emotional people at all. So like seeing them cry, you can tell that like they really, really, really love Oakland University. Senior day is always my favorite day of the year because, you know, you, you, you start with these kids and, and if they make it all the way through fourth and fifth year, um, there's so many memories. And, and Brad said something before the game, he goes, I can't believe how fast this, you know, it just, it's life. And life is emotional. And so it, for me, it's the best night of the year.
Ryder Hikes are great people and teammates. They're outstanding teammates and better friends. I really like being here with them and they were great role models for me. Brad and X are two different individuals that come from two completely different lifestyles that have bonded to be together to become friends for life. Brad just brings you every day. He's a leader. He's also the comedy relief. He's the one guy on the team that can openly crack a joke on camp and even get camp to smile and laugh every now and again. And then when he's in the game, no matter how his game is going, Brad is going to come up with some big play. I didn't really like Brad at first. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Brad is a unique individual, very outgoing, very special, very kind hearted. And, you know, Camp used to call him a baby deer. And I think now he's like a strong moose. You know, his legs are still skinny, but his upper body's gotten bigger. And that's good to see. It's like an upside down triangle. And, you know, I always will have respect and love for Brad. Brad came in as a big old country, you know, I'm gonna hunt and fish, I'm gonna ride on the lazy river. Now Brad's grown into this man that uh, he had an internship on campus and they offered him a job. From a freshman Bradley to a senior Bradley, <laughs> I've matured a lot. My freshman year I used to be kind of goofy. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not goofy today, but I'm more of a mature goofy, I should say, along with Xavier. I believe he and I uh, kept our goofiness but matured a lot. When I first came here, I saw the potential in X. I saw a high level, high skill level on the block, and I always preach to X to just have a higher motor about playing harder. And he's taken that, and now it's all coming together. So I just like the maturation process, when you can actually tell a guy what to do, and he actually does it, and then you see success come from it. See, he wants to, see, Brad's a copycat. And I don't mind it because- What? Because Brad obviously likes my swag. But look. X, I could really say, is my brother. The experiences we have throughout the five years with each other is just gonna be unforgettable. I mean, I love that guy to death. X, he came from North Carolina, had not, you know, wasn't really used to snow, wasn't really, it was a long way away. And I thought it really showed something when his high school coach was here for the final game too, how, you know, just a good kid that everybody liked. My high school basketball coach, you know, used to pick me up, take me to the YMCA. We used to struggle to find gyms where I'm from. And, you know, he used to like pay $20 to get me and a couple of my friends and work us out. It takes a special guy to do something like that. And just having my mom there just made it all the better because, you know, I'm like the first collegiate athlete in my family. And, you know, just, Having her see me in a game like that perform as, as good as I performed and as well as everybody else performed, it was just, you know, it was a good moment for me. For everyone that supported me through my five years here, I mean, I wish there was a word bigger than thank you, but I'm just gonna say thank you so much. It really makes a difference when you know that you have people on your side and you have people that support you, even when you make mistakes. And I know it's been a rough ride, I know it's been, I know it's been a rough journey, but we're trying, best believe, we're trying our best Brad and X have done a, uh, a, had to do a good job of, of molding a young team, of being mentors. And it's easy for me to say they've done a good job, but the facts are, look what we're doing at the end of the season. Look how we've molded and play and how we're playing and how much better we look as a group. That's, you've got to give them credit for that. We just want to end on a high note, not only for ourselves, but for these guys and for the program because we want to win. Yes! I'm going to be coming back to Oakland for a very long time. If the Grizz gang will accept me, I'll be back if I can hold the flag, if I can hold the flagpole. I'm going to be the head of Grizz gang. <laughs>
from imaging and specialists to surgery and physical therapy. So your next step can be a leap. Find an orthopedic doctor or walk-in clinic that's right for you. Visit ascension.org slash Michigan Ortho. Oakland University Credit Union's new Visa Signature Credit Card rewards you for living life to the fullest. Enjoy VIP experiences, exclusive discounts, and more cash back. Receive 3% cash back on groceries, 2% cash back on gas, travel, and universities, and 1% cash back on everything else. Plus, pay no international transaction fees. Open your Visa Signature card today. Visit OUCreditUnion.org slash Visa Signature. What's the difference between good and great? Good is when your haircut costs less. Great is when it still meets high standards. At Great Clips, you'll always get the haircut you want for less. And with our easy online check-in app, you'll save time too. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. What's the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. Walking through the tunnel earlier, it, it, it brought back chills. I always miss playing on this court. It's nothing like when you play in college basketball. Just to see how it must have grown, even the college itself, I mean, it's just beautiful. The 0405 team is, is kind of went down like this year. We were the seventh seed in the tournament, and we beat the number two seed, then we beat the number six seed, and then we beat the. Oral Roberts, and we beat him on Pierre Duke's last second shot. When Pierre made that shot for the next 10 days, we were the Cinderella story in the United States of America in the sports world. We didn't have the best overall record that year. We did towards the end of the season. We caught fire and we caught the rhythm right at the right time. The latter part of the season is when we started coming together as a, as a family. Um, we started realizing that it, it's, it's going to take all five of us and everyone on the team in order to make this happen. Then we went to the play-in game and we won. So now we're playing North Carolina, who ended up winning the national championship. So for 10 days, Oakland University, who nobody had ever heard of outside of the area, in 2005, was the story. And it changed everything for our basketball program. And the 2009-10 team, and then a lot of them were on the 10-11 team, we had a 50-3 and run in conference play. Kind of started with uh, myself and, and Jonathan Jones as the captains because we had gotten so close before but didn't quite get there. I think everybody just played their roles and we just wanted to win. It didn't matter what we, who was getting the accolade, all we wanted to do was just win the um, conference championship and then go on from there to the NCAA tournament. I think everyone just bought into the, to the team concept. And we ended up winning the championship. A lot of hard work went into it. Um, you know, so it's kind of surreal. I can't wait to meet up with some of the old guys and just talk about some good memories and, you know, get to see the fans again. I miss that. Like, it's nothing, it was nothing like the Grizz gang. I'm just happy to be back and spending time with these guys. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. It's a great experience to know that, hey, I was part of something that was so awesome and now it's just continuing to develop. I would say this to the, the individuals that are on the court now, enjoy it. Enjoy it because the time goes fast. One of the great things about the game of basketball versus some other sports is that you just need a few guys that want to play and a basketball game breaks out. And you know the fact that our managers have the chance to compete for something and win something is kind of cool because of all the work they put in, they get to play the game they love. I played at Albion College for four years, so when I got here, I still wanted to continue playing. So we just wanted to get a team together and play other teams in our conference. and other teams that we play during the season. The Managers Basketball Series is, you know, that's that's their season also. I played one game last year and we lost in overtime, so I stopped playing. Uh, but those guys take pride in it. All I know is the hype of it, and I see it on Twitter, and you know, we're ranked and, and all that. And I just tell our guys that, you know, you must be playing some really bad teams if you guys are winning. So I've got really good kids that are managers and they, that's very important to them. We're a small team within a team. So when we go out there and play, it keeps us closer. It makes us bond together because we're competing against another team. But also like 
it's a chance for us to network with other managers and GAs and support staff members and even assistant coaches sometimes who hope to have a head coaching job or hope to move up in a business. So it's a good networking opportunity. I know we got a couple good managers. Um, I know they they were ranked one number one at one point. They can play. You know, Corey was an ex college basketball player, so he's more of a, a scorer. Uh, Lick Lighter, he played high school, so he he's the younger one, so he has a lot of athleticism, a lot of energy. He does a lot of scoring. Colin does a lot of stuff from the coach's standpoint on the floor. So all of them, I mean, they got a good team chemistry. I mean, they, they get out and they shoot and they, they want to win. And it's kind of funny to watch it happen, but, you know, we're all, hey, did you win? You know, we're all cheering for them. I have a lot of fun. I'm a competitor. I like to win, but also I like to play with my guys, play with the manager team, and, and I like to compete against other players. They're good. Some of them play Division three, Division two, even sometimes Division one basketball. It's fun to see that how much, how interested they are into it and, you know, how much they put out after putting in long, hard days of work that they actually get to go out and have some fun. And I speak for the players, I speak for the coaches, we appreciate them a lot. You sit on the sidelines, but your heart is running across that field. His drive becomes yours, his dreams too. So when a torn ACL and concussion threaten those dreams, choose the sports medicine team that treats the whole athlete, Henry Ford Health System. We combine the most innovative technology with a personalized treatment plan so he can get back his confidence and you can get back to being his biggest fan. Henry Ford Health System, all for you. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great clips. It's going to be great. What's the difference between good and great? Good is when your haircut costs less. Great is when it still meets high standards. At Great Clips, you'll always get the haircut you want for less. And with our easy online check-in app, you'll save time too. Great Clips. It's going to be great. It begins with one step. And Ascension Care teams are here when you're ready with up-to-date, less invasive orthopedic care. Our experience reaches across a full range of services. We listen to you and provide the care that's right for you at every step, from imaging and specialists to surgery and physical therapy. So your next step can be a leap. Find an orthopedic doctor or walk-in clinic that's right for you. Visit ascension.org slash Michigan Ortho. I actually told uh, Brad and X before the season that we're going to get this championship and I was going to do whatever it takes for them to get the championship. And honestly, I think the whole team has, has filled that same energy. All the times we've been knocked down and had to pick ourselves up have really sharpened us so that we're ready for this challenge. We always said that if we can just buy in and the guys can just buy into doing their job, this team has what it, what it takes to win a championship. You just gotta compete, and you gotta be together, and you gotta, you gotta be strong. You gotta be strong, can't, can't let anything break you. Everything that's happened to us this year that has united us, strengthened us, and made us a better team, now we gotta play. It's about players making plays, and you got eight days to make plays. All I can say is we're gonna keep putting the pieces together to our puzzle. We're gonna stay on our mission. We're gonna know our roles and do our job. We're gonna surprise a lot of people. The mission isn't over. You know, we haven't accomplished what we set out to accomplish. And that's get to the NCAA tournament. Good evening, everybody. Welcome inside the arena. Welcome to March Madness. Oakland without the services of Brad Brechting here tonight, an undisclosed injury. Things just changed a little bit. And now every one of you owe this to him. He'll be ready Thursday. You owe it to him to get to Thursday. Like a three, Rashad from the state of Michigan! Of course, from the left wing at the shot clock buzzer. Oladapo to the rim, scores it and one. Trey 
Maddox drives around everyone and he scores. Shot is set back like an undercooked steak by Xavier Hill Mays. Their points per possession is 7-0, .70. If it's .70 at the end of the game, we're winning, and he gets to play. You got 20 minutes to get him to Thursday. That should be the number one thing on all your minds. The first six to eight possessions of this second half are going to determine everything. We're playing for him. Let's go. Let's go. Rashawn Williams drives, scores it off the window, and one. Anything over 20, we got to win the next four minutes. Trey Maddox has to do something with it. Step back for three. Of course, Trey Maddox. Oladapo with the catch, throws it up and in off the window, and one. When you're good, you have to tell people. When you're great, they tell you. All right? And right now, we're great. You guys played as complete a game as you've played all year. You took a 15-point lead to 25. To compete like that and do that for Brad, I think, is unbelievable. Now we just got to get you healthy. We're heading to Green Bay. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. On Brad's head, everybody. Right. On Brad's head. Right. I have to be there for him. Busy on three. Busy on three. One, two, three. Busy! Busy! Yeah. It begins with one step. And Ascension Care teams are here when you're ready with up to date, less invasive orthopedic care. Our experience reaches across a full range of services. We listen to you and provide the care that's right for you at every step from imaging and specialists to surgery and physical therapy. So your next step can be a leap. Find an orthopedic doctor or walk-in clinic that's right for you. Visit ascension.org slash Michigan Ortho.